damn boy I'm definitely not up for like anyone suffering you know I'm actually a dominatrix so it's kind of like uh, yeah consensual it's suffering only consent exactly with consent but I think that if you want to do an interview it shouldn't feel like you're attacking me but how, do, how, how are you feeling attacked I feel attacked because you I feel that you're imposing all this guilt on like maybe 20% of my diet who do you think feels more attacked? The animals that are being imposed to rape, on, rape on them for the dairy industry? Or the baby males that are discarded because they're useless to the industry? Who feels more attacked? Them or you? I feel attacked right now. So you're not the victim in here. They are the victim. You understand? Actually, you are making me feel like a victim because I'm actually a very sensitive person and you are totally just messing up my vibration right now, so... How are you doing today? I'm doing amazing, thank you. How about you? Oh, good. Um, I want to ask you, are you against animal abuse? Totally. I'm actually pro-vegan. I'm actually totally vegetarian, trying to be completely vegan. Completely vegan. Yeah. Nice. Have you seen what happens in the dairy and egg industries? Oh, yes. It's actually very disgusting. Yeah, like the, the male chicks are useless to the egg industry. They, they're gr grinded alive. They're actually grinded alive. I they, the, yeah. so they're killed alive? Like, yeah, I didn't know that. The first day of life, they, they grind the male chicks off because they're useless to the, uh, to the egg industry. They don't produce eggs, so they, they're grinded alive. After they discover the sex, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I have no comment on that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that sounds very barbaric. So what, what's this interview about? Oh, we're doing animal ethics. We're talking about veganism, animal ethics. Okay, well, yeah. I, th I really think that lots of people have this like very archaic uh, point of view in life that's like oh they need meat to survive and to be like yeah. nice strong and bulky and I'll be honest I don't eat meat and I look like strong and bulky of course like. me neither I've been vegan for five years and I yeah. still, still have muscles still have we're pure examples that you totally don't need meat 100% so what's stopping you from going like fully vegan um let me see sometimes I do crave like Greek yogurt I guess yeah and like taxiki, like Mediterranean food. I'm like big on cultures, so sometimes I don't like to like close myself completely off, but subconsciously I know I want to. Yeah. So I guess it's just about like taking those last little pleasures that I still have and changing it for something more wholesome. Have you seen what happens in the dairy um, the dairy industry? Um, the cow um Basically, the cows are, they don't they only produce milk when they're pregnant, so they're they're actually artificially inseminated. They're 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 basically they're continually raped. raped yeah, 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 they're continually raped, so they can keep producing milk constantly. So uh, stuff like that will. I'm not laughing because I find that funny. I find it actually. Yes, horrifying. No, it it just makes me nervous. Like the whole image in my head. Esto, yeah. It's, I don't drink milk because of that. I yeah. guess where my vegan like kind of slides is like in my sweet tooth, like. I'll randomly have like a waffle or a pancake. Yeah. But there's, this whole conversation is not making me want any of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there's good vegan options for um, for ice cream. There's vegan options all over the place. I know. There should be more vegan restaurants here in Puerto Rico. They're just like randomly like located and... There's 100% HP. Barely so promoted as well. Yeah, yeah. 100% HP is a good one. Via Lactia for ice cream is amazing. In Via Lactia? I haven't been there. Yeah, mucho gusto. Uh, is also. it like a gelato? No, it's just ice cream, vegan ice cream. We're really good in San Dulce. Maybe I'll try it sometime. Yeah, for the sweet tooth, yeah. Yes, exactly. For the like reward thing. Because yeah, I'm yeah. big on rewards. Yeah, they have some really good stuff over there. Okay. They have like ice cream sandwiches or stuff like that. Oh, I like those. Yeah. Those are hard to get like vegan style. Yeah. I would also recommend watching the documentary Dominion. It shows you the standard practices in the meat, dairy, egg industry, wool industry, all the industries that exploit animals. And that might give you the final push to actually go vegan. Called, yeah. It's called Dominion on YouTube. Yeah, I'm kind of like on a 80% vegan, 20% vegetarian. That last 20% could use a push. Yeah, exactly. I get you. I get you that push to actually go vegan. Yeah, I think that we could all use that little push. Yeah, because you know? I think you're almost there. You just need a little bit more. Some people need a bigger push, so yeah. we're there to help them. Yeah. Like, not judging, because I think that when we want to, like, educate people, you need to come from a, from a passive approach, you know? Like, making people feel totally judged kind of like can make them rebel in a way and like mo mainly even Hispanics are like I'm gonna do whatever I want and just like completely ignore the information that's being transferred to them you know just because they want to do whatever they want it's the whole mentality you know like I think it's only not only about changing your diet it's about changing your mindset yeah, yeah. See? yeah killing the oppressor in your head doing what in your killing head? the oppressor in your head 
exactly yeah. exactly just like not even let the letting the message come in yeah yeah exactly yeah i appreciate your time thank you okay yeah sure thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys going to tag my socials on this? Sure, we can tag you, of course. Like that? <laughs> so, uh -huh, I, I just, uh, like, I want to understand why don't you see it like a, like a moral obligation to go vegan? Like a moral duty. Like, it's, it's wrong to not be vegan. You don't see it that way? That's a pretty good and deep question. Give me a second to give you a good answer. On the moral aspect... I guess that society, like over the centuries of civilization, they have already had like very barbaric practices, you know? So I guess it has made them desensitized, is that the word? Like they're totally desensitized to hurting other living creatures. So on a moral way, I can understand why people don't relate to that. But since I've always been vegetarian, like since I was like a little kid and I knew that, that there was like different foods I immediately knew that like this wasn't meant for my body I don't know like I would totally cringe by like eating meat so it's not been a question of about my morals but on the overall like morals of society you understand why I'm saying like they're totally desensitized yeah but what I want to understand is why you personally don't see it as a moral obligation to go vegan like overnight because let me ask you a hypothetical question. Let's say like everything else was equal, but instead of like abusing animals for their dairy and their eggs, we were doing that to humans. And you have two options, to continue supporting human abuse or to go vegan. Which would you choose? <laughs> Damn, boy. Well, I mean, I'm definitely not up for like anyone suffering. You know, I'm actually a dominatrix, so it's kind of like, uh, yeah. Consensual it's suffering only. With consent, exactly. With consent, but none of these animals are meant to be born to be like abused and and raped and massacred so, so you would go vegan overnight in that hypothetical where you had two options going vegan or supporting dairy and egg from like a human like uh exploitation like hypothetically yeah no i would totally go vegan and even like start buying more directly from the farmers as well like i literally went to the farmers market this week and i spent much less than at the supermarket and everything I've been consuming from there has been so fresh and like so nice. I'm literally like looking forward to go again when that runs out. So most of the agriculture in most of the countries is amazing. And so like just eating what's local is also what your body needs. So definitely just go vegan overnight if that was an option. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But what I want to understand is why you have different attitudes in the two countries. So if, if it was like explo human exploitation, you would go vegan overnight, but right now you're not going vegan overnight. So what I want to understand is like what's so different morally between us and animals that justifies like you continuing to support animal exploitation? I'm not trying to justify myself at all. So you agree it is wrong and you should go vegan? Yeah, I think that unless you're actually hunting and fishing and like eating what you hunt and kill like in a more organic way you know to like maintain also like the food chain you know normal esto i think that's okay would you like say the same thing about like let's say we found stray dogs and we shoot them and ate them <laughs> or like children we saw a child and we just shot them and ate them would you would you support that like hunting humans and dogs and cats i don't support that of course not no do you see something like morally significantly different between humans and dogs and the other animals that justifies hunting them but not us well, you're trying to put me on the spot here. and Yeah, because what I'm advocating here is animal rights. Because personally, we have common ground in believing in human rights. You believe in human rights? You think all yes, humans... Yes, okay, let's put it like with facts. There's other animals that also hunt on other animals. So that's why I'm saying in the exception of the organic hunting. Because like I said, it's a food chain, you know? It's part of nature. But the whole mass production... But would you say that because something is natural, is therefore good and we should continue doing natural things? Or should we, like, not do things even if they're natural? I mean, if it's natural, it's the way of life. So, so let's say it was natural to commit a little bit of cannibalism. It was in our genes to be an, a little bit cannibalistic and it was in our nature. Would you say it would be a good thing to continue committing cannibalism or the right thing would be to go against our nature and not commit cannibalism? I don't think that anyone should go against their nature. Even if we are like naturally cannibals and we have other options, the right thing to do would be to continue committing cannibalism, killing innocent children and eating them, stuff like that? No, of course not. So the right thing would be to go against our natures and uh, like not be cannibals in that hypothetical? 
being cannibal would mean eating your own species. Yeah, and some animals are naturally cannibalistic. And even humans have yeah. like... Uh, like uh, In a nature sense, exactly. Yeah. But like, who are we as human beings, like more conscious like creatures, to be meddling with nature like if they want to eat their youngs or whatever like hunt down like whatever predators in their territory that's nature that's part of life you know did you ever watch lion king sure and, and i'm in, i'm actually in favor of uh abolishing predation if we could like abolish predation and turn all carnivores abolish into herbivores predation, abolish predation predation so i'm in favor of like if we had a way with technology or whatever to turn all carnivores into herbivores i would support that you wouldn't I think that animals are going to be animals. I think that focusing on what we can control is like a better approach and trying to change the world. You, you feel that's me? a separate question if, we, if it's like the right thing to intervene in nature. But right now you are supporting animal uh, exploitation, buying dairy, buying eggs. So like what I really want to understand is if you think there's like a morally significant difference between us and animals that justifies like holocausting animals for eggs and dairy, but not humans. No, there's not a difference, only that we consciously choose to do that. So it's all about changing the mindset. But I'm totally not going to be guilt shamed right now in this interview to change maybe like 20% of my life that I am consciously changing on my own pace, you see? So whenever you maybe want to approach a stranger on the beach, I think that if you want to do an interview, it shouldn't feel like you're attacking me. But how, do, how, how are you feeling attacked? I feel attacked because you, I feel that you're imposing all this guilt on like maybe 20% of my diet and I don't know. I feel who like do you I'm think, actually already done with this interview. But, but do you, who do you think feels more attacked? Like the animals that are being exploited and stabbed for dairy and well, eggs or you? Like imposing a knife? part of my life. What do you so think is I'm worse? I'm telling you that I'm actually completely vegetarian and 80% vegan coming here to brainwash me into like all this cannibalism and everything it's like you're putting a lot on my plate right now you know what I want to understand is this I just want to understand who do you think but feels do you understand me are you actually listening to me as your audience sure I'm listening to you but okay, I'm, but I'm, I'm, really I'm also like trying to not. defend animals I, I'm advocating for animal your rights point on defending animals but I'm also gonna defend myself but, but can you answer this question just this simple this question the last question sure, this simple question who do you think feels more attacked the animal that are being imposed raped on rape on them for the dairy industry and are being like killed when they cannot produce any more da dairy and or the baby males that are discarded because they're useless <laughs> to the industry who feels more attacked them or you i feel attacked right now more than them no not more than them but okay, so think of the victims you're not the victim in here they are the victim you understand? Actually, you are making me feel like a victim because I'm actually a very sensitive person and you are totally just messing up my vibration right now. So if you want to maybe conduct more interviews, you should actually maybe be a little bit more sensitive with the humans that you're also talking to. I'm done with this interview. Sure. Okay. If you were the victim, who you want people defending you uh, in what way? If you were like the one being raped, who, who you, who, well, you're would you want people job passionately defending, defending? But you're bashing the wrong people is my point, okay? You're bashing the wrong people. You should focus on the people that have more a uh, carnivore diet, not the people that only have a 20%. Well, you still support I'm animal exploitation. Me. You're invading my okay. space right now. So. You're invading the animal liberty. No, no, no. no. We're You're done. enslaving animals. We're go done. vegan. You can go. Please think this. of the victims. Think of the okay. actual, actual victims. Golden Orchid X people. Take it easy. Uh, don't, don't support yeah, animal exploitation. Hey, how's it going? So. Gus actually made a mistake at the end of that conversation. He actually stopped recording when it was getting good. Like right at the end when I stopped talking to her, I started actually walking away and telling her to, you know, please stop abusing animals. Please stop raping cows by being vegetarian, stuff like that. She got on my face. She invaded my, my personal uh, space by getting up to my face and almost like touching my fucking face and telling me, just following me and saying get get away from me get away from me as i was walking away from her she was in my face get away from me as i was walking away from her and she like went bonkers she went crazy uh it was hilarious that reaction was very unexpected it was like an, a 180 degree turn to what gus like with his good good cop approach uh when i actually challenge her position and i actually like uh uh, put pressure on her for actually changing and, and, and like uh, suggesting to her that it's wrong what she's doing is is like uh, horrible and it's a moral obligation to go vegan complete 180 degree turn but yeah like I just wanted to explain uh, that and hopefully for next time Gus never stop recording like that man <laughs> yep. but yeah that's it